so did Jesus ever claim to be God in the Bible? Yes, he did. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, Jesus calls himself the Almighty. All right, so where does he say, I am God, or where does he say, worship me? He never says that. Okay, if somebody says they're God, there's no need to say, worship me, because God already is implied to be worshipped. So if Jesus says he's God, he doesn't have to say, worship me. Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, you asked me a question, I gave you the answer. Jesus says he's the Almighty. John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am. What does that mean? Tell me. Did Jesus die on the cross? Did you answer my question or no? So you didn't even listen to my... What did I say? You're not even listening, bro. Did Jesus die on the cross? Did Jesus die on the cross? Did he die on the cross? Yeah, he did. All right, so was that the flesh? Is that part of the Trinity or no? Yeah, his flesh died on the cross, but his spirit was risen up, it says. All right, but since that flesh is part of the Trinity, he's... He, the flesh is not part of the Trinity, the spirit is. So who died for you then? If the Jesus in the human form. Is he still God? Was he still God? Jesus is God. So is he 100% man or 100% God? Jesus always was and always will be. The Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 1. Oh yeah, what does it say? In the it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In 1 Timothy 6.16, it says, He alone is immortal, whom no man has seen or can see. Does this thing refer to the Father or the Son? I want to pull that verse out myself and look at it for myself. It's so sad you have to look at your Bible. Oh, it's sad that I don't have the entire Bible memorized? It's like I'm a human being. Do you have the entire Quran memorized in your head? All right. So it says, who only hath immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto whom no man hath seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. So you want to talk about context. Did you read that whole chapter? Look, look, I just want to know, like, does this refer to the Father or the Son? That's the only thing I want to know. The verse right before it says it's talking about the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Which in his times he shall show who is the blessed and only pontinent, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who only hath immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto whom no man hath seen nor can see to whom be honor and power everlasting. This is talking about Jesus the Spirit. The Spirit. Okay. Yep. So when it says immortal, right? Does that yep. immortal means not subject to death. So if Jesus died on the cross, you're contradicting the Bible because Jesus died. Well, what does it say after he died? It said his spirit went where? To the heavens. Right? That's what okay, so that spirit never died, did it? But is look, 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 the, the flesh died. The flesh died. Yeah, the, the flesh cross. died. The flesh died on the cross. And yet the flesh came back to life too. Can you, can you explain that again. Explain that. The flesh came back to life too. In three days, the flesh came out of the tomb. So why does God have to die? It, it says He's immortal. Wait a second. Wait a second. Who said He has to die? The text literally says he's, a, he's immortal. He can't die. It doesn't why? say he has to die. He chose to die. There's a huge difference between having why, why, to and choosing would, to. Why would, why would that's like that's like saying that's like saying do you have to drink a coke or you wanted to. But why would God die? That's that's my question. Why would God want to die? Because it shows his love for you. 